Hi YouTube, this is Adil from CodBeal365 and I'd like to show you guys the Samsung Transfer and I'm going to do a phone review on it. Um, I'm going to start start this start the dice rolling with um, some pros and cons with this for this phone. Um, it has a fast processor of 1000 MHz has, and it has fast mobile data support which with 4G LTE supports it. Um, some cons are that it's pretty bulky, uh, has low resolution video capture, which I, I wouldn't say it's that bad, but it, it's, n it's not as good as like some other phones. Um, it's a smartphone which has Android 2.3 as its OS operating system. Um, its dimensions are 4.96 by 2.54 by 0.55. So 4.96 is this way, 2.54 is this way, and 0.55 is this way. Um, its weight is 5.8 uh, ounces, and usual phones are about 4.1 ounces. Um, its physical size is 4 inches, and has a resolution of 480 by 800 megapixels. Um, its pixel density is 233 ppi. Its technology is Super AMO LED, um, and its touchscreen is multi-touch and capacitative. A multi-touch you can use your, like, two fingers or multiple fingers to do things on your phone. Uh, it features for its display are light sensor and proximity sensor. And its talk time is about 8 hours for its battery. Um, standby time's battery is about 8.8 .8 days. Uh, which is also... Also, the average is like 21 days. So, and then 8.8 .8 .8 days is like 212 hours. Its battery capacity is 1800 mAh. Its processor is single core, uh, 1000 megahertz of single core. Um, its system in memory is 512 megahertz megabytes per RAM. Um, its built-in storage is 4 gig. Um, and the it's not that much, but the great thing is you can add micro SDs and micro SD HDs. And its maximum card size for its uh, micro SDs is 32 gigs, which is nice. Um, uh, sadly, it only has 5 megapixels, but it is good. Um, it has a flash, and its features for its camera are like autofocus, so it'll move to what you exactly want. Digital zoom and uh, panorama effects. <laughs> um, its camcorder is 640 by 480 VGA. Its features for its camcorder are video calling or video chatting. And a great thing about this phone, it has a front-facing camera with 1.3 megapixels, which isn't that great, but I, I just love that it has a face-running camera. Uh, it's music player and multimedia kind of stuff. It filters by artists and albums. Um, with those, it's album, art cover, and background playbacks, and it does have a YouTube player. Uh, internet browsing, it has its own browser, and it supports HTML and Flash. Um, what else is there? Uh, it has a CDMA uh, 800 and 900, 1900 megahertz. Uh, it uses 4G LTE, as I said before. Its positioning is GPS and E911, which helps you with uh, in, like emergency calls. Uh, and it has its own navigation, or Google, Google navigation. Uh, phone book, it has unlimited entries, caller groups. Um, what else is there? multi numbers per contact so like you could have like their home phone their cell phone phone uh, lots of phones have that too um, you can search by people's first and last name you can have picture IDs and ring IDs so like you could have like their Facebook picture on there for their phone uh, there, you could organize things with calendars, alarms, and document viewers and some basic things you usually have are calculators, timers, and stopwatch um, its messaging is SMS, MMS, threaded view, and something a little annoying that usually happens is predictive text input. I might just delete, I might just take that off my phone. You can turn it off and on, but it's a little annoying. Um, it has its e email sync, so you can sync your email to it, and you'll receive uh, pings of if you receive emails. Uh, it has Bluetooth connectivity 3.0, and it has its own mobile hotspot, and you can connect it to your own Wi-Fi. Um, it has USB 2.0, uh, it has a charger that's micro USB, and it has a mass storage device and USB charging. 
Some other things it has is DLNA, uh, computer sync, and OTA sync. So you connect it to your computer, and then all your files would be connected. And you can delete or add files from your computer. Um, it it has uh, an accelerometer and compass. Uh, some it has like music ringtones, so you can download those, or you can find those polyphonic ringtones. So like the normal like beeping sound you might get, or like a normal phone. I don't, I don't know what what it's usually called, like a normal cell phone ring. Uh, like a guitar with maybe, uh, like, okay, so what else is there? It has vibrations, flight, uh, airplane mode, silent mode, or vibration, again, uh, and speakerphone. Uh, it has voice recording, so that's great, because if maybe you're, like, on campus, like a camcorder or something, and you want to have all your information stored, because maybe you don't want to listen to the whole lecture. Oh, yeah, um, it was officially released on the 10th of October 2011, and its MSRP price was $410, which uh, I I guess by now has been uh, lowered. And it was released a year ago, so but it's still a great phone. Um, I w I would say this is it is pretty bulky. It's curved though. It's nice and curved. Its its shape is nice. Um. It's, this is what it basically looks like. Um, your phone will have this type of dial pad. Uh, your contacts will basically... I guess most of it looks green, I guess. Um, and your messaging will, look, will have like these balloon sort of things. Um, it has its navigation here, and it has its browser here. Um, your app layout pretty much looks like this. Um, um, you can change it, its uh, backgrounds and everything. You can move everything around. Uh, here, you can ha it shows your if your GPS is on your brightness. How you can change your brightness, the settings, your Bluetooth. Um, your screen timeout, your sync, and your uh, tips on how to use the phone. Uh, I'll, uh, it also has a legit up QWERTY keyboard. Um, you can slide out. Um, it's QWERTY, so it's, it's the basic keyboard. Um, over here, you have your arrow keys. Um, your search button, so you can press the search button. It has your four basic buttons that you have on the side over here. So if you, if I were to close this these buttons over here would light up and you also have them right here these two and these two over here so um the phone is very nice uh it has really good resolution all of its all of its things are uh are really high class maybe just the camera is not as great but that's pretty much it. I think this is a great phone. I would recommend people buying this. Um, uh, I would say this is one of the greatest phones with a keyboard. I like this phone. It's very useful and it comes with many uses as all droid phones do. Um, Thank you for watching. This is a Samsung Stratosphere phone review. And please subscribe Call, Call of Duty Black Ops 365 or Cod Beal 365. Um, like my video. Um, and please keep watching our videos. Please watch my other videos. I will be making more. Um, and thank you for all you guys have done. Please keep viewing. Bye.